eat all crafts. Today we're going to be making a restaurant silverware set. This is for an 18 inch doll. Even though I don't have one, I'm making this because I have a, do have a friend whose birthday is coming up and she really likes American Girl dolls. So I'm going to be making her something. If you want to make this for a Little's Pet Shop or a Barbie doll, then here's what you're going to need for any actual size doll. You're going to need a hanky or a sham. This is a sham for my glasses cleaner. And um, it's a square and it's fabric and it's really soft. And depending on the reason that I'm actually making this, one is because of her birthday and two because I actually would make one for myself in this video. But I don't quite have the reasonable size sham. So I want to make um, a statement saying that you can use a sham, a hanky, Anything in a fabric square, you can actually use an old t-shirt and cut it into a fabric square, but try to make it a square. And also, um, you can use a piece of toilet paper, depending on what size. I made silverware for this, but you can also get your silverware from a set. I'm not going to teach you how to make a silverware, even though it's very simple, it's very time consuming. So, you can, well not very time consuming, but it's just, it's really tough because it took me a really long time to actually find the right sizes and the right way to make it and the right materials which the materials are very simple so I'm just going to show you what I made I made a knife and a spoon the fork was very complicated so I didn't make one the spoon you can fold in the edges if you want to by bending it but I made these out of um, leftover cardboard which you can get in pencil kits you can get in basically anything whenever you buy a pack of pencils sometimes it comes in like colored pencils box. That's the kind of cardboard I'm talking about. Very thin um, cardboard. Do not use thick because it's very hard cut and it peels really easily. If you know what I'm talking about by thin, just, you know, like cake, what you get when you get cake and it's laying on something that's very thick cardboard and that's not what we use. We like to use thin cardboard here. Well, for certain most things so in my um how i did this was i just cut my simple little um designs and i cut them out and put tin foil over them so this is all you need and for the knife i put a butcher's knife and it has a blade and it has a black sharpie handle so that was a pretty simple of what I did and I'm going to teach you because my mom taught me how to roll silverware and I'm just going to teach you real quick how to roll silverware. So let's get started. Okay, before we start, let's just get one thing clear. This is not, in fact, a tutorial how to roll silverware. It's more of a tutorial just how to roll doll silverware. So first you're going to want to fold anything what you have your sham your hanky what your piece of fabric and triangle which is in half then you're going to want to put the silverware topped on top of each other in the middle and you're going to want to fold in the edges about to there both sides and they can overlap so don't be worried about that then really tightly just roll it And then you're done. So that's how you roll doll silverware and that's how you make doll silverware. And if you're wondering, yes, I did use scissors. Okay, in every video I'm going to try and teach you guys a little tip or a little trick or just a really small extra. For this extra, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a food pan. As in like a cake pan or a lasagna pan and you're going and this is a really cheap craft all you're going to need is scissors an Altoids container construction paper tin foil which is optional and you're going to need a hole puncher which is also optional first you're going to take your Altoids container and you're going to rip off which i've already done here if you're wondering um why the edges are black it's because i used a trace so that's something you're going to need First, I got orange construction paper and I put it on top and I traced it and then I cut out a little square. Also, I just cut out little random pieces of green stuff 
for whatever you want to use it. I use this as lettuce or, well, not really lettuce, just any kind of green. And I use these little orange things because I think they look like carrots, which I hole punched. And then I just got pink for my meat. First I got, and also I had this piece of tinfoil, which was a large square, well, large, larger than the Altoids container. And I sat it inside of the Altoids container and I pressed it against the edges. Then after that, fold over the edges. Next, you're going to use your orange square, your meat, your greens, and all of your carrot pieces. And you're just going to put them in together. Now you're done making your dish for your doll or Little's Pet Shop. If you are going to end up using a 18 inch doll, then all you're going to need is a bigger size um, container. I don't um, really know if they have really extra large Altoids containers. But if you want to go out, you might can find something like um, maybe a box that you can, you know, the metallic boxes that they put for cookies and stuff. Well, you might can find those in Walmart. I'm not really sure because, once again, I do not have an 18-inch doll. But that's really how you do it for your little pet shops or your Barbies. How to make a little dish. I bet they're going to have fun eating this. Yum! This looks so good. I can't wait to try a bite of... Ah! Dang it. Where'd it go? I'm not letting my carrot go. Ow. That hurt. Oh no. I'm so gonna have to pay for all this damage. Now I lost the bowl. Found it. Okay. Can I please get the waiter over here? I think I'm gonna pay an extra hundred dollars. Your table seems to be missing a leg now. Oops. All this harpang is making me thirsty. Mm, maybe an extra ten bucks. Ew! I think I stepped in my omelet. Now oh, my foot's all greasy. Hey guys, I'm Valerie, and I was just in the making of that film. Anyways, so let me just get something clear. In the making of the latest Moxie Girl video, which was just made and you just watched it, no tables, chairs, bowls, glasses, no silverware or no shams or napkins, no omelets and no plates. And definitely no lettuce, carrots, and, well, me, if you were actually caring, were harmed in the making of this film. So, don't be worried. And if you're wondering, yeah, I don't like pixie cuts. Don't hate on me. And these eyelashes are, oh wait, commercial break. <laughs> hey! Do you like my lipstick? Well, guess what? Guess what? Get it for free by calling this number. 999-999-9999. Is that even enough digits for a phone number? 
Anyways, just kidding. Nothing's for free these days. This is the real world. So stop acting like everything's free and being some selfish, conceited brat who know nothing about the world. You're all idiots. Ow, my head. <sighs> Okay, so like I was saying, these eyelashes are not fake. They're just real and glued on. Anyways, so remember to subscribe to my Beat All Crafts. Also remember, not everybody's perfect. If you don't think that your craft was good enough or matched mine, it's okay. Because as long as you make it and you're satisfied with it yourself, it doesn't have to be just like mine. It doesn't have to be like any doll crafter. If you think that yours is good enough for you, then it's okay. Because... Well, not everybody has the supplies, and like me, I find things to use whenever I don't have the supplies. Anyways, I'm just going to say right now that you shouldn't listen to anybody. If anybody is going to tell you that your crafts aren't good enough, well, they're wrong. Also remember to make video responses to this. Make your own craft videos because I will definitely watch them. Also, subscribe to me, like I said before, well, subscribe to the making of the maker of this video. I'm, I'm just a crew member. <laughs> Anyways, and also remember that we will be starting a Facebook page soon and we'll alert you whenever it's up and ready. Whenever it is, you'll be able to submit your own photos of your doll crap. You can even do your own doll crap. It doesn't have to be just like we do. And remember that we take any photos in. So, Check out us on Facebook. We'll actually be making it soon. So, by the time you probably watch this video, it's probably already been up. <laughs> Anyways, I'm Valerie, a crew member of My Deed All Crafts. So remember to subscribe to us because we really like you guys to subscribe to us. And also remember, like I said before, nobody's perfect. Your crafts are your crafts. And as long as they satisfy you, you're totally fine. <laughs>